Hello, this is Father Frank Pavone, National Director of Priests for Life, with pro-life reflections on the readings for the Feast of the Holy Family. The family is the sanctuary of life and the basic cell of society. The Holy Family, of course, is unique. One member is God, another is sinless, and the third is a saint. But the great lesson of today is that although God could have come into the world in any way He pleased, He chose to become a member of a family, obedient to His earthly parents and yet totally devoted to the Heavenly Father's will, as we all must be. He also shared the vulnerability that comes with being a member of a human family. The Gospel passage says, Herod is going to search for the child in order to destroy him. St. Joseph here plays the unspeakable role of protecting God. His readiness to do so in the person of this child speaks to every father about the role of protector and speaks to our whole society about the need we have for good fathers. The culture of life depends just as much on fathers making the right choices as on mothers doing so. Strong families are an integral aspect of the culture of life. Today we can focus on that fact through these readings. It is precisely the breakdown of family structure that increases the temptation to abort or to resort to euthanasia or a lack of proper care for the elderly. On the other hand, the communion of persons that comes from giving oneself away to another in selfless love is what creates the proper context for saying a generous yes to life. A helpful lesson from today's readings. The very word family stands for forget about me, I love you. So friends, to find pro-life reflections on the readings for all the Sundays of the year, go to preachingonabortion.com where you can also order my book, Proclaiming the Message of Life.